In this problem, we're told a rifle with a weight of 30 newtons fires a 5 gram bullet with a speed of 3 times 10 to the 2 meters per second. A. Find the recoil speed of the rifle. And B. If a 7 times 10 to the 2 newton man holds the rifle firmly against his shoulder, find the recoil speed of the man and the rifle. So this is what's going on, right? So before we have this guy, he has this rifle and he's going to be shooting his rifle and this bullet's going to fly out, right? So and then after, right? So you want to draw the before and after. So before, not moving, and then after, the bullet's going to fly out. Right, so what are the information we're given? So we're given the weight of the rifle, which is 30 newtons. We're given the mass of the bullet, which is 5 grams. We're given the velocity of the bullet right after it fires, so the velocity right here. We're also given the weight of the man, right, which is 700 newtons right, when he's holding the rifle. Okay, so how do we solve this? So the way we're going to solve it is by using uh, the law or laws of conservation of momentum, which basically tell us the momentum before has to be equal to the momentum after. So for this problem, there's going to be two different scenarios. Right, so let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A scenario, we're trying to find the recoil speed of the rifle. So the two objects we want to look at are the bullet and the rifle. These are the two objects. So we want to find the momentum of both of them. So momentum, P, is equal to mass times velocity. Okay. So if we want to take the momentum, what we basically want to do is say the momentum in the beginning is equal to the momentum at the end. Okay. So you want to add up the momentum and the bullet of the bullet and the rifle. So the momentum is MV. Right. So if we say the momentum of the bullet is just going to be the mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the rifle, plus uh, the velocity of the rifle, right, is equal to the mass of the bullet times the velocity uh, of the bullet, right, plus the mass of the rifle times the velocity of the rifle. Keep in mind this is final, and then this is the initial. So what do we know about this problem, right? So there's a few things we know. In the beginning, we know that, uh, right, the mass of, or the velocity of the bullet and the velocity of the rifle, they're both still, meaning this is going to be zero and this is going to be zero. And if both of these are zero, times by the mass doesn't do anything. So this whole side is just going to be zero because their velocities are zero. So that means we know the mass of the bullet plus the velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the rifle times the velocity of the rifle after it's fired has to be equal to zero, right? And what we're trying to do is go ahead and solve for uh, the re recoil speed of the rifle. So we're trying to solve for this variable, the velocity of the rifle. So now that we know that this equals zero, right, we just have this equation on this side. And what we're trying to do is solve for the velocity of the rifle, right? So all we have to do is manipulate this equation so we can solve for V sub R. And so if we do that, right, we can minus this to the other side and then divide by this. So it's going to be minus MB times VB over MR. So it's the mass of the bullet, right? What's the mass of the bullet? So the mass of the bullet is 5 grams, but we want it in kilograms. So it's just 0 0.005, right? Because that's how many, right? Because 1,000 grams for every 1 kilogram, so you just divide by 1,000 times the velocity of the bullet, which is 300, and then divide by the mass of the rifle. But we don't know what that is, right? Because we know the weight of it is 300 or 30 newtons but we don't know the mass. So we can solve for it because we know weight is equal to mass times gravity. So if we want to solve for mass, you just divide by G. G is just 9.8. So it's going to be 30 divided by 9.8. And if you go ahead and do that, you'll get it equals 3.06, right? 3.06, that's going to be the mass now of the rifle. So go ahead and do this, 0 0.005 times 300 divided by 3.06. When you go ahead and do that, you'll get 0.49. So it's going to be 0.49, right? And then this is going to be in, right? We're measuring velocity, so meters per second. So 0.49 meters per second. Uh, yeah, that's going to go ahead and be the velocity or the recoil speed of the rifle. And keep in mind that it's negative, right? Because we have this negative sign out here. I forgot to include that, but it's negative 0.49 meters per second because it's going in the opposite direction, right? Because it's recoiling, recoiling back. So minus 0.49 meters per second, that's going to go ahead and be uh, your answer to A. Now let's do B. So B, we're going to do the same exact thing, except for uh, we have to take into account the man, right? So instead of doing the rifle this time, we're doing the man, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So, uh, right, if we want to take account the man, right, because it says 7 times 10 to the 2 man holds the rifle, and we're trying to find the recoil speed of the man and the rifle. So when we're solving for the mass, right, because when we plug in the mass for this one, of uh, the rifle, right? Because last time we used rifle, but this time we're doing the man and the rifle. We have to find, uh, we have to combine, right, the forces. So let's just go ahead and do it again, and I'll show you. So it's going to be the mass in the, of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet plus, and then the mass. I'm just going to say mm because it's the mass of the man, but keep in mind we're including the rifle, right? Times the velocity of the man is equal to m b v b plus m m v m, right? So keep in mind, this whole side is going to be zero again. The reason that is, is because uh, the velocity of the bullet and the velocity of the man and the rifle in the beginning are still zero. So zero equals mbvb plus mmvm. 
So we're trying to solve for VM, the velocity of the man and the rifle. So it's going to be the same form as this one right here. So it's going to be equal to minus M V or minus M B times V B over the mass of the man. And then keep in mind, M M is the mass of the man and the rifle. So how do we find that? So we know the weight of the rifle is 30 Newtons, right? And then the weight of the man is 700. So that means it's going to be 730 is their total weight. So if 730 is their total weight, and it's going to be equal to mg if we want to find the mass, divide by g, which is just 9.8. So 730 divided by 9.8. You go ahead and do that, you're going to get 74.4. So 74.4, that's going to be, or it's 489. I'm just going to use 74.4 though. So 74.4 kilograms. And so now we have all the units. So the velocity of the man and the rifle, right, equals minus uh, the mass of the bullet, right, which is 0 0.005. Multiply that by the velocity of the bullet which is uh, 300. Sorry, I'm running out of room. Let me just rewrite it right here. So keep in mind, this is right here. So minus 0 0.005 times 300, and then divide by the mass, right, which we just found, the mass of the man and the rifle. So 0 0.005 times 300 divided by 74.4. So if you do this, you're going to get it equals minus 0 0.02. So minus 0 0.02, and then keep in mind, this is uh, velocity so it's in meters per second so minus 0 0.02 meters per second keep in mind they're both negative because we're recoiling and so this is going to be the velocity of the man and the rifle so i've just been saying m but you could just say mr ma uh, mass or man and rifle right so minus 0 0.02 meters per second and then minus 0.49 meters per second these are going to be your answers so this was a this is b and yeah hopefully you found this useful